Time for another Path of the Preview. This time we're looking at Prince Uriel. Uriel? Uriel? I don't know. However you say it. Well, it looks like we're uh, not getting a brand new model with this guy, which is fine. The old model still kicks ass, pretty much. He's pretty cool. It's Corsair. Who knows? Either way. He's pretty cool. He gets the Path of Command. It's an aura. While friendly, I end in Kor or Enrath. Enrath being the uh, Corsairs. Uh, is within six of him. Each time a model in that unit makes an attack, reroll a hit of one. Pretty nice. Pretty li uh, Pretty good. I like it. Uh, you know, it's a solid inclusion, and I like that he's both for Corsairs and uh, Iandan Craftworld. I think that's pretty darn cool. He also has Prince of the Corsairs before a battle while placing units into strategic reserve. Strategic? If your army contains this model, you can have the power rating of Iandan infantry units and Enrath units and Harath units for the purposes of determining the combined power rating of units placed into strategic reserve. Uh, I think that's pretty darn cool. Uh, I don't know how many people often play with power ratings, but yeah. Unless, of course, power ratings is something else, uh, you know, other than, you know, regular kind of uh, friendly type games, right? Spear Twilight is his melee weapon. Gives him two times strength, minus three AP, three damage. That's pretty darn good, considering that he probably has anywhere from four to six attacks or something like that. Something hilarious, I'm sure. It's probably like four or five attacks, probably, he has. Uh, and of course, uh, if he's the Warlord, it also doesn't prevent them from using the Strands of Fate ability, which uh, was covered in a previous... Uh, oh man, these guys look so awesome. I love it when they have like these Eldar buildings in the background and such. It just looks really, really kick-ass. But anyway, yeah, so Prince Uriel. Again, we keep getting little tastes of the upcoming Codex Eldar. Oh man, I'm excited. Uh, who knows when this is going to be dropping, but when it does, I'm sure... Many, many of us Eldar players, long-time Eldar players, will be rejoicing in the streets. And of course, we'll be more than willing to accept brand new Corsair, Craftworld, Dark Eldar. Everybody, All the new Eldar players out there will be ready to accept them amongst the ranks and build a nice, big, fat player base so that... We don't have to wait so long the next time they want to introduce new units or updated units or anything like that. So let's uh, encourage our Eldar brethren and sisters to join our ranks and, yeah, just kick Space Marine butts. Let's just kick, let's just make that our goal. Just kick Space Marine butts. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs>